Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hey guys and welcome to the 6th Ranger. In today's video we will be unboxing the Red Ranger Power Sword. I'm very very excited about this, I've been waiting for this to come for a while. It's a super big prop, the only other actual weapon I have is actually the old uh, gold Zeo staff which you can see just behind me there. I'm gonna get straight into this, I've had this for a few days and I've waited to record this video so uh, let's get into it. Okay, so straight off the bat, the first thing to point out is this is quite heavy. You can see by the size, it comes up pretty high. I'd probably say that's about 1.2 meters, maybe, at a guess. But straight away, yeah, the, the feel of just the box and the weight of it gives you an idea that it's going to be pretty good quality. At least, that's what I'm thinking without seeing it. The box itself is very nice. It's um, got like a kind of shiny glaze over the weapon in front of what's a... Uh, normally just cardboard. Oh, there's even a, a sound symbol. I'm not sure what you can see here, but I guess this lights up and makes some noise. It's cool. Excuse me. I'm going to stop talking about the box because none of you really care about that, and I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. You can also see the stand here. It looks very cool. Okay. By the way, it's approximately 1,000 degrees in this office, so if I suddenly pass out on camera, you will know why. I've had to turn the fans off to record this video. Come on. There we go. Uh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Let's get that out of the way. Cool. Okay, before I get the actual sword out and start talking details, it's time to thank today's sponsor. That's right, we have sponsors now. Do you want to learn a new skill but don't have the necessary resources to do so? Well, Skillshare is the ideal place for you. It's an online learning community with thousands of classes available. So, with the knowledge of Zordon at your fingertips, you can learn many new skills. Photography, illustration, animation, editing, and so much more. Have you ever fancied setting up your own YouTube channel, but don't feel like you have the necessary skills? Well, spend a little time with Skillshare, and that can quickly change, helping your dreams become a reality. But one of the best things about Skillshare when compared to other types of online learning is you can do everything at your own pace. Learn when you feel like it, and do it from the comfort of your own home. Or command center. I've personally been going through the basics of hand-drawn animation by Johannes Fast. It's been absolutely amazing to learn and I can't imagine the possibilities that that can bring to content on this channel. And amazingly, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description down below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's get the sword out of the box. That is big. <laughs> trying to figure out if there's a button on this. It's bound to be, right? Oh, okay. No? Ah, ah, okay. On the handle, there's two red buttons, which I'm assuming one is a sound effect, one is lighting it up. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure if the original Power Sword, the Red Ranger Power Sword, has a completely square handle. It feels a bit odd. I remember having a kind of like a rubbery one when I was a kid, and I don't remember it feeling like this. This is also super chunky and square, and I will not lie, it feels very plastic. Yes, I know these are mostly made for kids, but these are like the expensive range, right? They're not the cheapy ones you pick up in your average toy store. So I expected a little higher quality, but it does feel very plasticky. It even sounds quite plasticky, you know? And it even looks quite plasticky. Uh, I tend to find that when you compare the Hasbro line to the Bandai line, everything with Hasbro feels a lot more plastic, whereas Bandai put a lot more effort into it, feeling heavy duty, and it, they had metal feels. In fact, let's take the, the Morpher as a prime example of what I'm trying to say. Hopefully you can see right here the difference between these two Morphers. This is a Hasbro one, this is a Bandai one. I mean, the look, and especially the feel of them, is considerably different. Bandai put a lot more effort into these morphers than Hasbro did. Everything just looks and feels better. And that has continued on from the morphers onto the weapons. You can take the Dragon Dagger as another example. Um, I don't have... I'm not even sure Bandai did a Red Ranger sword, so I don't have it to compare. But, yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be a continued theme. Very plasticky looking, very plasticky feeling and just feeling more like a toy than a collectible, if that makes sense. 
Uh, I'm not even sure whether to bother putting the batteries in. It comes with a display stand as well. I mean, it's kind of cool, but again, it's just so plasticky. I feel like for the price they charge for these, they could put a bit more effort in. This was about £125, I think, which is, I don't know, $150, $175, somewhere in that region. So you'd expect a lot more. I've got to say I'm a little disappointed. Sorry, Hasbro. I've enjoyed the majority of the Lightning Collection toy line, but as for these things, I'm not so happy. The helmets have been great, but these, this, the Dragon Dagger and the Morpher have pretty much sucked, I have to be honest. Okay, let's get some batteries in there. Okay, I really hate to disappoint you guys, but I actually can't find a screwdriver to open up the handle and put batteries in. I sort of feel like when a toy or a collectible needs something unscrewed to place the batteries in anyway, it kind of gets a little bit frustrating. But this is the world's worst unboxing and review. But I'm going to be honest, I'm so disappointed with this that I almost don't want to put the batteries in and see what it does. That's, that's how cheap and crap this feels. I really hate being negative. Um... Normally with my unboxes and my reviews, I'm pretty positive. I've done a couple of the Hasbro helmets, and I've been pretty much completely positive for the most part. Um, but yeah, this, as well as the Morpher and Dragon Dagger, not impressed. When I first opened the Morpher and Dragon Dagger, I was happy. I think if you go back and watch my reviews, I was pretty happy. And it wasn't until after that that I got a Bandai version and saw the difference. Big difference. If you're thinking of getting one of these yourself... I think it totally depends what you're after. If you're looking for something to cosplay with, it could be kind of cool because I guess it's quite safe. Um, if you're looking for something to put on your shelf amongst other Power Rangers things and collectibles, it will probably look pretty cool. Let's be honest, at the end of the day, it's a cool looking designed sword. Um, but that's not down to Hasbro. That is down to uh, the Japanese guys that created the Super Sentai stuff. But if you really want this, if, you, if you're really thinking I'm going to spend big money, get myself a nice replica of the Red Ranger sword, they could have done better. I would almost say save your money. But again, if you're just collecting all these props and collectibles from Hasbro, then I guess get it. I'm yet to order the Blue Ranger helmet or his power lances. I probably will still get them because again, as a collection, together on a shelf, they do look pretty cool. But... This has put me off a little. I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm sure it looks super cool with the lights lit up. Uh, I'm not putting money on it, but it probably does. The one thing I can see is that this side is clear. This side is not. So even with the light effects, it's only going to be the one side that it really has an effect on. As you can see, there is nothing to let light through on this side. Um, I'm not sure what sound effects they're even going to put through. Are there any iconic Red Ranger sword sound effects? I don't think there are. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry for this, not only being a super negative review, but let's be honest, quite a bad one. I couldn't even test out the features. I apologize for that, but it, there's literally sweat running down me. I can't even think it's so hot in here. Um, to conclude, it's to scale a nice size. The design is cool, but that's not down to this product. It feels and looks super plasticky, but hey, if that's what you're after, it's for you. If it's not, it's not for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And again, thanks to you guys for showing so much support to the Sixth Ranger over the past maybe close to two years that we've been going and getting us to the point where we can have sponsors. It means I can actually spend time on this channel making videos. Those of you that have been around for a while will remember that I was forced to take a break from this channel because, well, it takes a lot of time to make these videos and it doesn't pay. Having sponsors makes a huge difference. So thank you all very, very much. That's it for me today. Again, thanks for your time today watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day. Wherever you are, may the power protect you. And I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.